It's Stephen here from Ads Lad TV, and I'm going to be interviewing Les Hollywood, a successful local businessman and ex-professional fighter. We're just going to have a general chit-chat about society and how he got from Lagos to being in Sunderland and being a successful person and businessman and the importance of giving uh, things back to society. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy, enjoy the interview. Um, so here we go. No, well obviously I'll just explain what Ads Lad TV actually okay. is. Obviously it's a platform which inspires young people. Uh, well, inspire, it can inspire anybody. But um, obviously it'll probably, um, it's there to men, like, you know, inspire mentally young people to get a message out there. Um, so you'd have like artists, which is yeah. the most obvious one, young people. Yeah, I've seen those. You do all artists. Um, but we've also, we're starting to like branch out into, we've been doing work with the National Citizen Service, which is a government backup programme. And that is actually mentoring and um, inspiring young people from 16, 17 year olds. As soon as they finish school, the government, every area of the country, we've got to pot the money so that they can do workshops and things like that. But there's got to be a message in there. Yeah. And I'm trying to, um, for instance, made for, the, made for the kids do a, a, a workshop. Yeah. And the workshop, even though we do, we do a little bit of grappling with them, you can't really show them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An hour and a half, you know, yeah, but I show them a couple of moves. And we're, and, but the, the message in the backdrop is, uh, mixed martial arts gives you discipline, mm -hmm. and discipline can be used in any part of your life to go forward. So, for instance, yourself, you've been a fighter yourself, but also um, a businessman as well, mm -hmm. and well, a, a very successful one. And it shows you that you need discipline for things like that. Now, if we can reach out and convey this message to young people, then we might be able to yeah, yeah, on the right path. Yeah, so, we can just speak to you generally about your story, or you know, which we, what you, what where you think is best to inspire young people. Uh, and your life story, your backdrop, maybe it's how you got, how you uh, ended up being in Sunderland. Mm -hmm. As you know yourself, uh, Les, I mean, uh, you don't know really well, but as you can guess just by me looks, I've got a mixed race identity. Um, you, you yourself um, have also come, uh, got a, um, a background of ethnic origin. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I like to speak about challenges like that, in, 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 because some people, obviously at my experiences, I've used that to get to where I am. And I wouldn't have it any other way. That's the same with That's me. Any, I've, I've, I've used that to myself because I'm different, so people yes. remember you. So, so then getting back. Why some people can use it in a negative way? Go, well, I'm black, and people don't give me advantages or give me mm -hmm. things to do or mm -hmm. advance me because because I'm an ethnic minority. I've, mm -hmm. I've always seen it the total opposite direction. I've always mm -hmm. thought to myself, no, no, I'm different. Mm -hmm. I stand out to everyone else, yeah. so people will remember me. Mm -hmm. If I want to go for something. When I show my face and turn off and people finally meet me, hopefully mm -hmm. they like my character, mm -hmm. but they'll always remember, right, Les, even sometimes people call me Black Les, so mm -hmm. they go, right, yeah, Black Les, everyone knows who Black Les is. Mm -hmm. And I'm not in a derogatory form, mm -hmm. but also just because But then, what, what I like I'm to from. say with that is, it, it's, but then, society then labels you things, don't Well, yeah, yeah, of so course, of You course, might of say course. that's not in a derogatory form, it's not. but then at the end of the day, they've still labeled you something. Well, yeah, but it's, 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 it's a memorable label. So, I mean, I think sometimes people get too PC mm -hmm. where they go, right, if you see anything black, they're like, huh? And for instance, one, one I find very popular is when people try and describe other black people to me, mm -hmm. they go, oh, Les, um, some guy came to see you. I'm like, right, who was, did he tell you his name? No, no, I didn't say his name, but he, um, uh, he, was, uh, right, he was like tall and then he was like, he was quite well built, um, but then, like, uh, you know, short hair. I'm like, white or black mm -hmm. right right it was black but they were scared to say oh, a black guy came to look for you les mm -hmm. what's wrong with what's wrong with saying that i don't see any problem with that mm -hmm. um calling someone black if they are physically black in appearance mm -hmm. but because of pc mm -hmm. everybody goes oh you can't say that what about when a, what about when a, a, a word or an attachment to a word becomes offensive as well though so something what that's what i'm trying to say yeah. something when I, when I have a discussion on this topic, yeah. it's very important and obviously, especially when you're dealing with young people or educating other people, yeah. something what was right yesterday doesn't mean that it's going to be right of course tomorrow. Not, of course not. So yeah. when, when, when somebody becomes offended though, surely yeah. you've got to take notice of that though. Yeah, but you know if someone is being offensive or not in the way they use the but term. You, but black what? bastard. Yes. That's different. Yes, but... Oh, hi, you, you, uh, uh, Les came to see you. Uh, is a black guy? 
Yes, but, but then... But Comes then, across in a totally different manner. But then, for instance, in the 80s, Paki was alright. We now know that that is... Yeah, that's wrong, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, it wasn't yeah. wrong in the 80s. When okay, I got well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, true, words true. change. Yeah. And what I like to say in that uh, retrospect, because people say PC, I can understand. I know what you mean yourself, so, because actually, from where you're from, yeah. I've had the same thing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And you get that awkwardness where... Yeah, yeah. And it's strange, um, also, because people like ourselves, especially when you... Um, we we used to in an environment where we were constantly looking at what was perceived as a white face, yeah. a white person. Yeah. But what you got to remember is then people are looking back and seeing he was a uh, as a brown face. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? But no, I do definitely agree with you about uh, political correctness. Um, it, it sometimes it goes too far sometimes. It yeah. sometimes goes too far, but we've still got to listen to people who, if someone's offended, they're offended. Yeah. So if there's one person who says no, listen, I'm offended now by that. We've still got a right to, to say a right, well, you know, maybe it's they are. Yeah. Um, I've seen something actually in the, uh, in the, one of the local papers, I don't know what it was, but there's no gingerism. Right, and yeah. No, there is. <laughs> I and, didn't see that. And there were so many attacks, there's yeah, been so yeah, many attacks, yeah. I mean, and yes, you might say, you know, they've got ginger or red hair, but someone might be offended by that. But I know what you're saying, sometimes it is, um, it is a bit too much to, um, when people go on Twitter. Yeah. Back to what we're actually talking about, whatever it is, you use that positiveness to overcome. And of course it does, yeah. This, this is where yeah. you are now. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you've, you've ended up in a uh, position where you've got a, no, uh, a number of businesses, mm -hmm. aren't, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah. And you also always try to, um, when I've seen little snippets of you and sport you, you always actually are for the community, aren't you? Yeah. Like the that's, a, I think that's what it's all about for me. I, I strongly believe anything you want to go into, business, life in general, anything you do, along the line you need to be helping people. Mm -hmm. I think your first priority now, especially now that I'm a bit more established, I make sure that any opportunities I see, any opportunities that, that come, come my way, I look at those opportunities in business, in mm -hmm. life, in any, other, any kind of direction and, and I say, right, how is this opportunity going to help others around me, not just myself? Mm -hmm. Because as I feel right now, I'm in a position where I'm, I'm quite comfortable in life. Some of the opportunities that come my way, I don't actually need them mm -hmm. in terms of financial aspects. But I look at them and go, right, if I do this, what will it create for others? Mm -hmm. And then if, as it moves on along the line, it then creates something for me financially along the line somewhere, then great. But that's never my main aim mm -hmm. anymore. It's never where I go look and go, or I want to do this because I want to make a lot did, of money. Did you think? Did, did you? Did you? Did you think that way before, though? Maybe not. No, not so much when I first started out. No, I'm saying, did you think that way before? So, did you actually, when you were younger, did you think, no, I need to make money? Has that something what's changed over that period of time? I thought uh, because because uh, of the kind of society I grew up in. I grew up in Lagos. I grew up in Nigeria. I went to quite an affluent school. Mm -hmm. I went to school with quite affluent people. Mm -hmm. So yes, naturally, you want the nicer things in life. You see people having the nicer things, and you go, yeah, well, maybe I'm meant to have that. So yeah, so yeah, in a way, yeah. But as I've grown older. It's changed. It's gone, not fully changed, but it's changed in terms where I go. It's not just about you anymore. It's mm -hmm. about what are you doing for others? Mm -hmm. how, are you, how can you help this person? How can you help that person? Do you see that as what a are you bringing? Do you What's see, your package? Do you see that as a problem to society that young people are too money oriented? Yes, they are. And the, the work this is just this MTV lifestyle, yeah. and it's all, and about, it's all about them. It's all about you, me, me. I want this. I want that. It's for me. I want to show off. I want to show off. This. So this is getting back to the message about yeah. that TV. We've got yeah. to try and. Even though I, I actually hear what you're saying, and actually what you're saying there, there's actually a word for it. It's a social enterprise. Yeah, of course, yeah. That's yeah, what you're talking yeah, about. It's a yeah. business what actually uh, benefits the community. Everybody, yeah. You can make, you can make money. You've nothing of wrong course, with that. Of course, of course. There's one thing about me. There's nothing wrong about being successful. Of course not. Money. Of course not. But one of the messages what we um, try to convey, the word I'm using again, when we're doing the National Citizen Service, is you've got to put something back. Yeah, you have to. You've got to, you, you can't go about taking all of this. And that's when people fail. The people who fail in business and fail in life in general mm -hmm. is those who just want to take, 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 mm -hmm. take, and they forget about others. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes when it comes and bites them up the ass, excuse my language, <laughs> is when they go, right, I took all this, mm -hmm. now I've hit a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna come and help me? Mm -hmm. I took from everybody, took everything I can, and I didn't help anybody else. So why would anybody come and help me now? Mm -hmm. So that's what people need to think. Think about the future as well. It's not just about you now. Mm -hmm. It's about how things are going to be in the future. I, I think I'm lucky in the position where I am now is because I, I believe that there are a lot of people out there who are always willing to help me in whatever position I'm in. I sometimes look at that as um, 
it's a, a parallel, it's a strange or a paradox because yeah. it's strange, it's, it's like what's happened um, in society, especially because of this last recession, yeah. which you know, went on now for seven, eight years. And, but you see things were put in place, so things are put in place what is supposed to benefit or help the community yeah. when, when times are hard. Yeah. Yeah. When the times are hard, they get took away. So how does that work? So for instance, benefits and welfare yeah. and things yeah. like that, They've been overexploited, obviously. Yes, but but so but them are there. Obviously, them things should be there when um, when times are hard. But then the times are hard, and a lot of the stuff gets took away from you. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, and just, I, I sometimes say that. And I know, but sometimes I think you do need stuff took away from you, so it gives you a kick of the ass mm -hmm. and makes you go right. Okay, I can't rely on that. Mm -hmm. I need to fund myself. But then that might be a problem. That society sometimes. Makes it too easy for it. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. do you know what I mean? Especially in this country, it's it made, made too easy. They make it too easy, but then that for me that that makes me wonder what actually is going on at the top yeah. for them to make it too easy at the bottom. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Because if you want to look around that way, and if you really want to dissect it, when it was too easy, that was when the most money was getting took out at the top. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you turn a blind eye because it's easy. Because you're comfortable. Yeah, because yeah. you're comfortable. And yeah. then and then when all the hundreds of millions of pounds have went from wherever. Oh, we're going to cut everything back now. Yeah. But the people at the top have still got all the money. Yeah. Um, so you do see that. And the reason I was getting onto that point was because you you did just say there that, and I've seen it myself because obviously you've seen, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a businessman myself. You get more opportunities the stronger that you are. Yeah. But you think in the back of your mind, but what happens if I need help when I, if I had nothing? Yeah, yeah. But then people and then opportunities still be there. I think they will because the opportunities even. I think I think a lot of this. I think a lot. It has a lot to do with the kind of person you are. Mm -hmm. So whether you have stuff or you don't have stuff, you have something you don't have nothing. It's the person you are, and opportunities come your way based on your character mm -hmm. and the person you are. Not just as you appear to people, mm -hmm. but the person you are on the inside. If you're a good, clean, living person, you're a trustworthy person. You live a good life. You don't always have to show it. Not everybody has to see it. Mm -hmm. But I think opportunities do then come looking for you. Mm -hmm. I know some people say, well, you have to, it's luck and it's this and it's that and it's the other. There are sometimes maybe it is luck and sometimes maybe it just is that opportunities will come looking for you if you live the right kind of life. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't always have what I have today, but opportunities came my way and I took those opportunities. And going on back into opportunities, there's a lot of people who, opportunities come their way, but fear of failure makes them not go for it. I've, I've always been the, key, the kind of person that an opportunity comes my way, I go, right, I'll try it, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, great, how much am I going to lose? What, what's the what's worst the, that can what's happen? The, what's the most important asset to yourself? See, my personality mm -hmm. is my most important asset and my drive, my motivation. It's got nothing to do with financial assets or physical assets. It has everything to do with me as a person. That's when, my most important when, asset. When you, when, when you say, what am I, when I, I take a chance and I take a gamble yeah. or whatever, you look at something and then you say, you wear it up and say, what am I going to lose? Yeah. But what are you going to lose? What, what would be the what would the thing what you were gonna what, what would you be losing? Right. See, let's see, see, you've got this venue, and by the okay. way, uh, like you said, it's been shut. Yeah. Um, two and a half years. Two and a half three years. You can have a quick switch around if you want to. And have a quick mm -hmm. look. But yeah. it's, uh, it's a nice venue, and you, you're taking a gamble. Yeah, you know, of course you, I am. Of course I am. Exactly what we're seeing. Um, but what are you gonna lose? What I'm gonna lose here would be a financial loss. Mm -hmm. Is it a big deal? Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Yeah. So, so, so a lot of people they. they that's where the fear comes in. That's where being a true entrepreneur mm -hmm. comes out of certain people. Some people like to say they're entrepreneurs, but when it comes to taking that actual real risk and going right, putting pen to paper or putting money where your mouth is and going, right, I'm going to do this, they always back out and go, Ooh, well, actually, I don't think I can handle this. If I lost all this money, I couldn't handle it. But then you take things into perspective. How I work my life is I take things into perspective. I go, right, a business opportunity, for example, I say, how much is this going to cost? If I invest all this into this opportunity, what is the worst case scenario that will happen? And let's say the worst case scenario, I'm going to lose the sum of money because it hasn't gone. Is that sum of money going to change my life? Is it going to drastically change my life where I can't be in where I am anymore? I can't do anything. I can't physically live. Well, very unlikely. Mm -hmm. Am I willing to go and start again? To all over again to reachieve what I've initially achieved if I've lost everything. Yes, I'm willing to do that. That's what scares people. People go, right, I'm not scared to lose this because well, how is it going to alter my life? Or how is it going to alter my appearance? Most of the time, that's what it's about, it's about people's appearance. 
And firstly, if you're not worried about your appearance, which I'm not, you won't have that fear. Because there's a lot of fake people out there who have who like to have fake a fake show. That's right. They don't really have what they're trying to say they have. Perception. So that fear makes them not actually achieve the things they wish they had, but they like to pretend like they have got them. If you know where I'm coming from, I don't know if that makes any sense to you. I do. So I think that's what makes me different to other people and why I'm always willing to take these kind of risks. When I look at something like that, um, whether it's business or campaigning or getting behind it, a local issue or a national issue, which I've done in the past, um, what I look at and what my loss is um, when I wear up a, a certain situation, um, getting back to what we're talking about where you get this generation um, what, you know, dr driven by like, I want this for yeah, myself. Yeah. The most important asset has to be time. Yeah, time yeah. is the most important, not money. Yeah, time. Yeah. How much time am I going to spend on this? On this year project, yeah, yeah. How much time is this going to be? The money, what I like to say in this respect is that when you look at success and you can say it to somebody, how would you judge success? And the first thought by the generation what we talk about would probably be, how much money? Yeah. How far yeah. you got? And let's not be let's not beat around the bush. I, I know what you're saying because you're similar to my point of views, but you still want to pay your bills, don't you? Of course, yeah, and you yeah, still yeah, want to be yeah. able to go for a meal. Yeah. Of you course. still want to have a nice meal and yeah, yeah. well, decent clothes when you want to, but it's not everything. But I would like to judge success not by finance or money, but I'd look at money as being a byproduct of success. Of success, of success. Yes. Yeah. So then the most important thing on that route is the time because you put the time in to get the success and then the money comes after mm -hmm. that's what would happen and a lot of people don't understand that message yet and that's what we're here for yeah, we're supposed yeah. to try and um, speak about it so that people can uh, understand what the type of thing we're talking about because people would look at you wouldn't they and they'd say you open a business up or you've got a couple of bars you do do the security company and whatever else you know and some people might be jealous some people might say what is he doing and what is the recipe for to get that and that's why I explore these conversations yeah. with people like yourself so that we can help understand and achieve uh, what we need to do in society. But um, for me, time is the most important thing because you can never get it back. Yeah. And if you give somebody your time, obviously like you've done today by speaking to us, you appreciate it. But I still think that a lot of people don't understand that concept yet. They don't understand that concept yet. And uh, especially younger people. Um, and they wouldn't, and people sometimes wouldn't see you using all your time. I mean, how much time, uh, uh, how much time have you put in this place? I bet you put a few hours on the Of course, yeah, we've been here non-stop, non-stop for three months. Literally, three months. non-stop for three months. Any day party? in, day out. Any party? Go no, on no party. No, no, nothing whatsoever. No such thing. I don't party anyway. Yeah, but, but I mean, even been if I, the of course thing. not. Of course not. But like you said, when now come to think about it, and the way you put it is, yes. time is most important. Time is most it important. Is, of course, no, I couldn't be out partying and expect this to come together. Wouldn't. You know what I mean? But I couldn't be out socializing and expect this to come together. Being on drink or drugs and expect this to come together. So back to what it we couldn't said, happen. Couldn't back happen. what we said, which you've also done yourself uh, in the past. Uh, you've done martial arts and things like that. Yeah. You need discipline. Yeah, of course. It has a lot to do with discipline. Of course, it's yeah. got to do with discipline. Yeah. If you can use that, but you can use in any part of your life to achieve this, uh, these, these opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and if we do um, use that discipline, uh, we should give some back, something back gets back. You know, you give something back. That's of course, what we, of course. that's what we try to do. at made for the kids, uh, and in society in general, uh, the National Citizen Service has been brilliant for me because it really has um, gives us an opportunity to like speak to young people. Yeah. And you know, like, and, and they want to obviously ask uh, these questions. You know, they want yeah. to ask what yeah. you're doing, how you. How have I done the you know, the cage or what other business things have you done and all these type of things and I'm able to sit and use my time, mm -hmm. part of the time issue, and try and tell them how important it is uh, to uh, use it wisely and to be disciplined. But I'd like to finish off what, 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 what we started with as well. Um, it says you, you, you were brought up in Lagos yeah. um, and obviously you came over here. You, must, you would never have known how when you were at Lagos to hear that bit there, it's a, it's a story in itself. Of course it is. To this it's, point, yeah, it's where you couldn't have seen. You it's couldn't a huge have, story, You yeah. couldn't yeah. have seen. I mean, you, know, you kind of tell it in one sentence, but you went from that to that to, to England. And would you class this as your home now? Yeah, of course. Now I do. Even though I still call Lagos when I'm going back to Lagos, I say I'm going home. Yeah. But I still class Sunderland very much <laughs> my home. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a tradition. It's a cultural thing to call coming from where I come from, being Nigerian or half Nigerian. 
it's a cultural thing, especially growing up in Nigeria, to call where your father's from home or where you grew up home. But uh, primarily, Sunderland is home. I've tried to leave on many occasions. Something, <laughs> something always draws me back. It is know, one thing or another. I haven't actually commented that I've tried, I've tried that many I've times. Tried, on I've, many occasions, but something always brings me back here. Yeah? Well, I've, I've tried to leave Sunderland a few times, but yeah. <laughs> the same is home is where your heart is. Exactly, yeah, true. true. But mate, getting back to it, it's important to have social cohesion, isn't it? Yeah, of course, of course. To of course. understand that everybody is, should be given the same chance of like, equalities and yeah, things like yeah. so that. That's, that's, um, in my life, that's one of the main things that will have equality yeah. in our life so everybody can have the same opportunity yeah, same to do the same things. But sometimes it's not just about having the same opportunities, it's about everybody having a different mindset. It has a lot to do with mindset and mentality. Like growing up, I always knew. And I never thought, I never, not a thought or think, oh, maybe I might be successful. I always knew, I always said to myself, I am going to be successful. I always knew mm -hmm. I was going to do it, if you want to call me successful or gaining businesses or gaining assets or whatever you want to call it, being successful. Mm -hmm. I always knew I was going to be successful. I didn't know how. I went all the way through university and I still wasn't sure what exactly it was I wanted to do. And I still feel I'm nowhere near mm -hmm. where I want to be. So I don't think my story hasn't even started yet as far as I'm concerned because mm -hmm. I'm nowhere near where I want to be. I've done a lot, I've achieved a lot. But there's still a lot There's before. still a lot, a long, long, long way to go for me personally. So yeah, but I always knew I was going to be successful and I, I'm not happy with the level I'm at yet. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know where I want to be up there. I wouldn't like to speak it because it might sound like I'm being big headed, but I know what my potential is. But it's important on that level, once again, society, yeah. you use the word there, I don't want to sound big headed. But as long as you can say with conviction that you're giving something back, then it's very important that we all have dreams, surely. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. What would happen if society didn't have any dreams? Yeah. What would happen? The end of society, no dreams, nothing would happen. Nothing would happen. Everything would we see in here is dreamt up. The yeah. lights is dreamt about oh, someone's thought, dream. Thought, thought, it's a thought, thought, but there it is, the, the TV, your mobile so the phone. Guy, well, or, or the guy who owns that company. Yeah. He had to think of course, company of course, up. Yeah. He had to think it, 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 up and it, it, do this. It, 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 and someone might have turned around to him and says, he thinks he's going to be selling these lampshades. Yeah, yeah. Or someone, say, someone would have said, oh, one day I'm going to create a device where you can speak to your friend mm -hmm. and you don't have to be connected to anything. You can be anywhere in the world and you type in a, num a text mm -hmm. and send it into a number and you press send and it goes to the other side of the world without any physical interaction. They would have said, oh, you got mental problems. <laughs> of course, it sounds mentally ill that I can send you a text now and you'd be in Australia or my friend Stuart in Australia, I'll send him a text from this device and he'll receive it within half a second. Does that make any sense? Mm. But somebody thought that up and they've achieved it. So why if I say I want to own an airline one day, why can't that happen? Like it says that that's the that's what I wanted to touch on there yeah. because the message, like you said, getting getting back to us said this is gonna be on a, a platform for young people. So it's important that we convey that yeah, message yeah, that it's yeah. alright to dream. Of course it is. As it's it's all about dreaming. Yeah, it's all about it's, it's dreaming. Not about, it's not necessarily about I obviously would I do I do relate to it because yeah. I, I still have them dreams and my aspirations and I still I can actually touch on that point that you made. I feel like I have not achieved half the stuff that yeah. I want to achieve. Yeah. Honestly it is. That goes back to the word drive. Yeah. You've got to ask still have enough drive from now. I mean, with me personally, it's every time I do achieve something, it's not quite enough. Mm -hmm. I don't get excited about it, so I'm always looking for the next thing and the next thing. And that, and that I know, is what is pushing me to where Challenge. I will need to be. I'm never comfortable, I'm never happy, and go, right, okay, well, I've achieved all this, so, right, I can just chill out now. I can't chill out, it's not in my blood. Mm -hmm. And I, I think kids growing up, they should all have the same drive where they go. It's n never enough. They should always want more, even if it has something to do with education, if it has to do with your grades at school, a C shouldn't be enough. If you get a C, you should be thinking, right, I want to get a B next. Mm -hmm. If you get a B, you're going to want an A. If you want to get an A, you're going to want an A+. Plus. Again, distinctions, that's what they should be driving themselves for, because it's all achievable. Mm -hmm. Everything's thought of by man. Everything in this world, world is thought of by man. How, how, would you, how would you sum up the qualities then in life? Or, or like, what, what is a qualities and definition to you? Equality, now, what in, do you mean? Inequalities, you know, when you don't have you have inequalities in society. What what what, what does that what does that mean to you? Me personally, inequalities in, in terms inequality. How I'd like to put inequalities across now is in terms of inequalities. Is, do you think they exist in society still? Inequalities, of course, they exist in society. Unfortunately, they do. But I think it has a lot to do with the individual. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. 
I've got people who I started out with who are more successful than, mm -hmm. and I've got people who I started out with who are more successful than me. Mm -hmm. So it is, at the end of the day, down to you personally, so the inequalities within you. Mm -hmm. It's got nothing to do with society, whether you're black, white, pink, yellow, green, purple, blue. Mm -hmm. If you've got the drive, and you've got the dream and the aspirations, mm -hmm. it's achievable, 110%. So it's got nothing to do with saying, oh, well, I live in a little two-bedroom flat, and my dad was an alcoholic, and my mom was at this, and my dad left. It's got nothing to do with that. It's got, I, I like the way I, the way I look don't, at things. Don't, is, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. If it's bad, don't look back. Mm -hmm. And I've, 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 I haven't reached where I've reached today without having some obstacles and having some bad times. But I choose to block those bad times out. I'm, I'm, I don't remember them. I only I'm remember the good times. I'm sure, uh, like I said, as we finish up now, that there will be more obstacles. Yeah, of course there will. In, in Ahead. The yeah, there will. There will the, 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 but the, the, the I, I take all obstacles as a learning curve. You're learning, you're right. There was an obstacle. How do I get over that? Right, you get over it, you go right. Well, I remember that the next time. Next time another obstacle comes, I know how to get either get over it or get around it. And that's what it's about. Did you enjoy that? I did. It's great. It's good, isn't it? It's really, really we, should, we should do it again. Should we? <laughs> Definitely do it again. <laughs> well, this is Les. I really enjoyed it. And obviously, I'm thanks very much, guys. And thanks cool. for your time. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Much.